All right. So, in this one, now that we've started Nimble, which is pretty much what the last episode was about, this episode where our main focus is duty. And you started right here with this one, Two Fox. Fox, yes. Started with the rescue fox mission. And you gotta be a little careful about it because you can't screw it up by accident. I also want to grab Wolf's Quest, uh, the Wagon Key. That's a good one to have really early on. Because the supplies that he gives you with the Wagon Key is only really good really early. I also want to point out that having these mods, also I did not fix that yet. I'll get to that in a later video. Um, the cake, the artifact cake, which um, gives you like minus hunger and makes it so you pretty much never starve. I have never found one in this current build of the game. I don't know if it's disabled or something. It's a little bit upsetting because I do I do like that artifact because it's very nice to have, especially early in games. So you don't have to put up with all this. Later in game, it takes up inventory space and you like throw it out and then you gotta start micromanaging your character again. But early in game, it's nice to have. There's a lot more dead bodies here than there were early. There are that many bodies. Wolf can also die, I want to point this out. Getting this... That was for killing the bandits. You ask him why he's here, he tells you about his father... ...and his brother. And then gives you... Wolf's pretty entertaining. Going for him. And... I do not know if it's a scripted drop... ...but if Wolf does die... The, um, the one time I was playing the game, Wolf died. Uh, he gave me his father. If you read his spoiler alert, if you read his story, uh, he tells you that he came here looking for his father, and he came with his brother, and now he's just like here without his brother and father. Uh, father died, they found his father dead, and then his brother died not long after. And. So, don't mess with the military over there, don't kill them for doing this for an experiment, but also because we're joining duty later. But that's, you don't want to kill. Uh, getting back on track. So, Wolf, I found Wolf dead one day, and so I searched him, and he gave me his... Fathers cross again and then you cross again. It's just a Z. All you do is you run in a big Z. sells for a lot. This particular type of vodka sells for a lot. The white vodka. Cross. Again. That's first aid kit, that's why it's not doing well. Not mean to use for What I could have done was I could have just thrown both of those on that one. I feel dumb now. Alright, this is where it's going to get a little hard. I'm going to need this stuff. 
Get rid of the regular bullets, load only the armor piercing. And carry this gun for the pretty of early game. And we're going to do something real crazy. real crazy, I mean like, I can hear everyone stand behind this guy. And we're going to pull our gun out. And both the heads up. Kill that guy. I'll do it, Fox. Got it. Don't let Fox be a hero. That's how you start to duty. Let's go. Actually, you have to kill the Sin Stalkers at the beginning of the game. Not deal with the Sin Stalkers. We get spoiled for. You don't actually have to follow Fox back. It's not like he's going to die on your way back or anything. Leave Fox, go talk to Sidorovich, and if Fox isn't back at the rookie village yet, then he'll just spawn there. Fox is pretty cheap, but he's actually not the cheapest repair. This early game repair. The from what I have found, the cheapest um Mechanic in the game is located in the altar. Lake Counter. And okay. we're here. This way. I don't want to use this way, but I also want to come back through here and look and see if the zombie dropped it. Minus is your health, okay? Equipping that will literally kill you. Slowly. You are on the wrong side, which means that yes, there are a bunch of... Quickly sprint your way through here. Try to get through those guys, a couple quick jumps to do it. Keep going. Also looks like um failed to find uh, uh weapon. How did I fail to find an item? Nimble, did you pick it up? Oh, Nimble's dead. What? This is 
tied to the grass. experiment because I don't know if I can acquire the best suit in the game now because Nimble gives it to you I can key that's what I came down here for was the wagon key I can't believe that happened I was about to make a whole series about doing Nimble's quests and whatnot now I'm gonna have to go back and make another playthrough about it that. Oh well. I know where all the items are, but I don't know if they spawn without you getting the quest first. I don't think they do. Like, how am I supposed to get the SPM 100? And that's what I'm going to use. Oh well. I'll just play through the game a second time and just make episodes specifically driven towards his quests. This is now a 100% duty playthrough. Due to the fact that the only other thing to do was Nimble's quests, but... Alright. I got nothing but time. Make a bunch of little, um... Videos about doing the individual quests, where to start, where to go. How-to videos, basically. Eh. And I've had requests for how-to videos anyways, so... Expect, not anytime soon, in the future, a how-to Nimble video. Featuring the How to Do Nimble's Questline. Part 1 How to Stop Nimble from Dying from the Rat Wolves in the Underground. I don't know. And frankly, I think it's because of the direction I took, because I don't think those things spawn unless you go that way. <laughs> Has he died to the rat wolves? Come on. Brought it. Yeah, same box. There is a stalker out there that oh, yeah. goes by that name. Some say he's found a passage to the north of the zone. I'd like to find out how he got there myself. It's in an unexplored area, probably filled with many artifacts. The other traders and I will help you find him. And then maybe you'll discover the hidden pathway too. This will be good for all of us. You will kill Strelok, while we will open up the way to the north. Personally, I don't think you'll find him. But there is a chance you'll succeed where most have failed. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> Good hunting, stalker. Grab the second pair. Not yours. What I was saying. Look for them. Thousand one hundred. Boom! Look, I'm already. Okay, watch this number. Seventy-one. Twenty-eight. Go full roundabout. 74.36. Bam. Already making money at the beginning of the game. And that's only with Barter 1. Okay. 
Barter 3, I would be making almost a thousand per trade. Right, and that's with Sidorovich, and Sidorovich has, um, by beyond average, beyond yeah, usual, um, low, um, there you are. Uh, below average sales. I can't think of the right word. We're just going to drop the weight of some of these items we're carrying. Break so fast. The male jacket, because it has the higher impact and the higher durability, actually takes a while to break. Uh, impact. There's a very big misconception. I probably mentioned this in my previous playthrough. Okay, big misconception between bulletproofing and impact. What do they do? Everything that I have found states that bulletproofing increases a small amount of durability to your suit when taking damage from um, weapons, firearms. Bulletproofing also reduces your bleed chance. Right? Impact is what reduces the actual damage taken from weapons. Um, projectile based weapons. Right? So, impact is actually what bulletproofing should be, and in later games was. Um, but impact overall is um, what stops damage that you take. The actual physical damage that you take from somebody shooting you. Whereas bulletproofing reduces the durability drop when taking dam um, projectile based damage like bullets. as well as the bleed. And then this guy over here, this is your uh, melee damage reducer, as, and um, some anomalies do melee damage, and all mutants do melee damage, so that's important too. Just pointing that out. Um. That's something I didn't look at, the echo detect. I sell the echo detector for the bitch. How much do I get out of it? Got any Great, alright. So we're gonna do this. Alright, thirteen. Thirteen. Right. Right. Look at this. Eleven eighty. My back. All right. Sixty six. Go. There it is. Make another roundabout. Seventy nine. All right. This is how early in the game you can break it. Level one barter. All it takes. And then some patience. A lot of patience. Look at this. Up to 14,000. That's how early you can break the game. I've been playing the game for less than 30 Good minutes. Good hunting, stalker. Alright, okay. Correction. Less than an hour, and I've already uh, achieved like infinite money. Game had to load there. Not unusual to see um, bad FPS in this game. People with like Titan 1080s have bad FPS. Um, so, if you want to increase how much money you make, dump money into it. And the most expensive upgrade you can get is the range.
Back already? Back to Sadorovich. Come back here. Now he wants 90. 19, sorry. Okay, so I had 83. But he does want 17 back for it, so it is more expensive for him to buy back. Wait, 17. I actually didn't write the preview down, so I don't know. Alright, then we do another couple roundabouts. Already back up to 14. We want 30. I'm just going to fast forward the video to make it to 30. All right. Good hunting, stalker. The importance of having all this money early in game is to make the early game super easy. That way we can focus more on the late game. What I'm going to be doing is hiring. Oops. That is so weird. Why am I? Why is OBS? Yes, the game's running. Anyways, not supposed to work that way. That means that it actually is in the game. It's all in the game. The reason we wanted thirty thousand is because we wanted this. Damn. Now it's worth even more. Eight thousand. A lot of money. We're also going to be stuck with this artifact detector for a little while. So what we want is we want the ability of detecting electros. Not really burner. That guy. This guy. What jellyfish artifact? Go ahead and get that to make it worth more. All right. Now the artifact detector, regularly, is worth 44,000. See how much we can sell it to Sodorovich. Yes, I'm literally making an entire episode about how to break the game and make loads. But, this is important for later, because very early in the game I want to go to the forest. Brought any and now he wants 46,000 for it. And you don't, or buy it for 46, but take it back. I can buy it back for 42. So, I went from making about like a 700 profit to now making about a 3,000 per trade profit. About, these are just rough numbers. Probably actually making. This. But look at how much faster. I'm already back up to 30,000. Or almost 30,000. 27,000. Now I'm already back up to 30,000. This is only doable off of the Echo. Or e e Ek. That's Echo, isn't it? But Echo was still. About 50,000, we're just gonna do a roundabout. Alright. Good hunting, Stalker. You know, how much can I buy those brains pack for? Just. How much? Okay, nothing sells as good as this guy right here. I feel like that's a joke. But. Um, don't even bother doing that with the later detectors, like the, uh, the bear. Because it, um, that's the second gen detector. Don't do that with the second gen detector. And I can't even remember where you go to get a third gen. It's really to a quest. Literally have enough money to get every upgrade. Bam. Full detector at the very beginning of the game. Go ahead and pop that on there because we don't really have to worry about our upgrades anymore. Go ahead and get any upgrade we want to for any weapon we want to. I still got 13,000 left to whatever. Like, 
Pop a little bit of accuracy in there. Uh, reduce the recoil. Make it more durable. Uh, durability is something that you're going to want to go for in the long run. And the accuracy does not actually... Um, That's done that. Now it's worth seventy seven. No, I just screwed up saying seventy seven. Title of this video is going to be how to Got raise it. some money. He wants 82, okay? He wants it for more than the darn thing's worth. It said that it was worth 77. Here I am selling it for 82. But he'll take it back for 74. You see how big of a gap that number is? I'm back up to 18,000 already. 26,000. Before. 50. Easy mode. Good hunting, stalker. And we want all this money super early in the game. He's in Cinder I don't know why I'm keeping that, but I'm going to keep it. That too. I don't know. Drop off some of this ammo because that's white ammo. He. Reason I want all this money this early in the game is because I'm going to go to the forest as soon as I can and get the ghost suit. Anyways, that's nimble. They just they literally reused to find the Groza. Oh, he wants the Groza. I like how it's called the Groza in uh, the description. That in game, it's not called a Groza. Obviously, what it is, but still, what it's called. Wait until night. That quest is broken. Learn something. Alright. What I'm going to do is we're going to go to the garbage. I'm going to knock out two stones and two birds of stone. I'm going to go to the garbage, do all the garbage stuff. And get the quest from, um. And then. How do you spell that? Anyways. Uh, um. Get the quest from that guy to go find his friend, which is right, um, here. Which is the same village that I want to go into because I want the ghost suit. Is either in this village or this village. I can't remember. I actually think it might be this village. I want the ghost suit early in the game. It's going to cost a lot to upgrade, and the reason I want the ghost suit is because the ghost suit has a healing factor of plus four. And that's pretty good. Um, with me not having the ability to see my health, it means that I definitely want a background effect healing me. Also, let's check out the range on this thing. Auto saved. I can find any good artifacts. Absolutely nothing. Best detector game. 